Ode to John the Art There's a bloke goes down our pub, a be probably scoffing grub, with the chips he eats he'll never be a leanin. On his head is Trilby's sat, so he's known as John the Art, with his motto, I can get it, he's John Keenan. I've heard I'd never read his book, but I concede, I've broke my word and so I seek repentance. I struggled for a while with its lack of classic style, but strangely I enjoyed a stiffer sentence. So it's John, 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 what the fuck have you got on? You'd look better wearing spats or a cravat. Can you get me size nine brogues, just like them I've seen in Vogue? You're a rogue and not an angel, John the Hat. John lappily confided that he did a stretch inside, in Armley and in Indome, where the lags were. And what were John's great crime, whose consequence what time? The import of some Indian Viagra. When John at last were brought before the county court, he'd plead his case without due fuss or clamour. When the judge had sentenced John, it wasn't Gavis gone he'd need, but John's blue pills to help him lift his hammer. So it's John, 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 yeah, crafty will be gone. He's on the phone in fluent Gujarat. I'm after Gordon's gin, or a vintage mandolin. Do you think that you could get him, John the Hat? And even when in prison, once the chance it had arisen, he found his scent a brand new little earner. The scammers, keen and led it, gained him telephonic credit, and so he put his pills on the back burner. As his book unfurls, he's a bugger for the girls of the Mumbai clubs, and says so in his story. But his thrills are blown apart, as poor John will lose his heart, to a little girl, his daughter, name her Shirley. So it's John, John, John. It's six to four odds on, they'll come again. Beware the bureaucrat. Best keep inside at line. Are you stuck in Calvin Klein? I doff me cap to you, mate, John the Hat. <laughs>